my friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for coming back. If you're just coming by, welcome. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, so what I'm going to do tonight, um, I bought this cute little snow globe at Dollar Tree. And I want to make a little miniature scene in it. I want to get kind of creative with this. I'm going to use some tin foil. I'm going to build it up. And I got these little winter village people at Dollar Tree as well. Uh, one is a little kid riding on an inner tube in the snow. Another one's a little kid sledding. And another one's a little kid throwing a snowball. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tin foil and I'm going to bulk it up. And I'm going to put it like up kind of at an angle. And I'm going to put the little kid coming down it. And I'm going to put a, one, maybe one more of them in there. There's not a whole lot of room for too many in here. And then I have some little mini trees I'm going to put in here. Have some fake snow. I'll try to put a little bit of glitter. Um, so we're going to kind of do this in a couple parts. This is really cute. It comes apart in two sections here. You have this little section here, which is like the stopper. And uh, it actually seals pretty good in here. So you don't end up in a mess when you tip it up. Pops it out here. Okay. So, we're just going to set this off to the side. Uh, tell us how to make it here. It has, uh, has different things here. So, um, this piece right here, we're going to be working on this section right here. Um, they tell you what to use to use a glue gun to glue your small figures. I'm gonna actually going to use E6000 because I want it to really dry. Uh, so this is probably going to be a two-part video. Uh, you're going to fill the globe with water, baby oil, but leave enough room to put the seam inside without overflowing. Uh, and then you're going to coat the exterior sides with glue and push it in to prevent leaking. So I am going to use E6000 as well. Uh, turn it upside down uh, with the exterior base on the counter to stabilize. Keeps the glue from dripping. Set aside and let dry thoroughly. Screw on the exterior base. Shake and enjoy. Uh, pretty simple instructions. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe even at the bottom of my little hill, if I have enough room, maybe putting a little pond. We'll see how this goes. Uh, so I'm going to start out and I'm going to use some tin foil here. And I'm going to tear me a couple little chunks here. I don't want to... I don't know how much I'm going to need yet. So, I don't know if you guys see my hand or not. <laughs> Interesting story. Uh, my amazing friends from Kentucky came down. And they took me to Key Largo. For a few days. We went kayaking, which was amazing. In the ocean. We kayaked out to a mangrove island called Doe Key. Beautiful place. I'd never seen mangroves before. Like that. And uh, I had never been to Key Largo. I've lived down here in Florida for four years, but I live in Fort Lauderdale area. And I'd never been to Key Largo before, so it was an amazing experience. But we went to this place called Robbie's. And if you guys want to check it out, there's a link in my description box to my Instagram. Uh, you can go check out my Instagram, and there's actually a video of the whole thing on there. Uh, but you can go to this place called Robbie's, which if you ever get to Key Largo area, uh, it's just south of there. Um, it is such a neat place. Really, really neat little place. Um, one of the things you can do at this place is you can pay and feed tarpon. Well, these tarpon were huge, huge, huge tarpon. And, uh... You take these little fish and you dangle them over the edge for the tarpon to eat. And when the tarpon jumps up, you're supposed to let go of the little fish. Well, it happened so quickly. My reflexes weren't great. And I got a kiss from the tarpon. Uh, it looked really bad. And it looked really bad when it happened. But it's actually more like a rug burn, kind of. Because they don't really have teeth. Their teeth are like sandpaper, kind of. They're so small and fine. So, it looked really bad, but it was such an amazing experience. I had such a great time. Uh, I got to try new foods I've never tried while I was there. 
because uh, they they eat very differently than me. Uh, not a lot differently, but okay, they eat differently than me. They try new things a lot more, and I'm willing to try them. Uh, just sometimes I don't really know what to try and where, you know, I'm kind of leery of certain things. And I've tried, I got to try tofu for the first time, which was really, really good. I was very surprised. Um, you know, you kind of get a stereotype of what something is in your head. You're like, oh, tofu, what is this, you know? And, uh, but I'm up for adventures. I always, I love our adventures. They come down. About once a year and take me on an adventure with them. Um, last year we went to kayak at night. Keep in mind, I don't do this normally. I'm not a kayaker by nature. I've only been twice and both times were with them. Once was in the middle of the night, <laughs> like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, we kayaked in the bioluminescent water uh, up by Titusville. Florida. If you ever get a chance to do that, that was spectacular. It's something that's just, it's amazing to see. Uh, we were very blessed and fortunate to have, be able to have even a more amazing experience. Me and my friend Julia, we were out in the water. We were kayaking down there and um, of course when your oars are in the water, your paddles in the water, it's automatically blue. Brilliant, like glow in the dark blue. Well, while we were down there, while we were kayaking, uh, beside us swims a dolphin, and of course it's lit up blue. So it was an amazing experience, and we both love dolphins. She's very, very much a sea lover. Uh, kind of a mermaid. <laughs> She has a beautiful mermaid costume she wears at Halloween. Oh, well, okay, she wears a lot of other things. Anyway, it's just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, it was quite the experience for us to experience as two friends together. Uh, this year, her and her boyfriend came and took me to Key Largo, and we went kayaking in the ocean. My second time kayaking. And... Uh... I have to admit, it was probably the funnest thing I've done. I love kayaking. I'm really determined to find, like, a group down here, maybe, that does kayaking. So if anybody watches this, if you're in the Fort Lauderdale area, and you do any kind of a kayaking group or anything, let me know. Because I would sure be interested. Alright, guys. So what, I'm, what I did was I lightly sanded my plastic piece. I wanted to do that so I could have something for this glue and this tin foil to attach to. So I'm spreading the glue out here on this plastic piece. And then I'm going to stick my tin foil on here. And I'm going to bend the tin foil up how it needs to be because I don't want it to really overlap this. That's the good thing about the tin foil is we can form it as we need to. So we got this piece of tin foil on here. Like I said, I'll work with it some more here in a minute. And we'll get the base of it glued down and get it all stuck down here. It'll dry overnight before we put the whole thing together. Now, I'm going to take some more glue and I'm going to glue my little mountain here on it. I think this is going to be big enough. Let me take the little kit out here. I don't know if we're going to use the sledder or the which one we're going to use here. Kind of big he is. Uh, this one wouldn't be too bad here. Let me need to flatten that out a little bit here on the top maybe. Okay, so yeah, I think he's going to slide down a mountain pretty good right here. So 
I'll put some more glue right here where I'm going to put my little knot mat. I'm using the E6000 because it is waterproof. So when we put the water in there, it's not going to not going to come apart. Be so cute. I saw these at Dollar Tree and I thought for a dollar and a quarter I want to make my own snow globe and we're just going to decorate it the way we want. I really wish I you know they had these little light posts. <laughs> I kind of wish I may, may do another one with like a different scene. All right so while this is on here we're just going to let that sit for a little bit. I'm going to paint this because it's not going to hurt. I'm not really going to get crazy with the paint um, it should be just just fine and we're gonna use some white paint of course because we got snow and uh, I am going to use this little well, no, I don't think I'll use much fuzzy stuff I'll probably use regular paint um, just gonna stick a little bit of this paint right here on some tin foil So yeah guys, if you ever get a chance to go to Robbie's at Key Largo, go feed the tarpon. It doesn't hurt. It's definitely an experience. I laughed and there were some people there from New York and the guy was kind of leery to feed him. You could tell we were watching him because I was going to see how he did it. Well, he didn't do it. He just kept throwing a fish out in the water instead of holding it out. And I'm like, well that's not really feeding him. I mean, you're just kind of, you are, but you're not. So... I wanted to try actually feeding them, <laughs> and uh, I saw him later, and him and his wife and kids, and he was telling us that uh, he looked over and he saw me feeding it the way I was, and he thought I was quite the badass, and at my age, I will take that 100%, so I have a fish story and a video to prove it. So it was definitely a fun experience. Love trying new adventures, love doing new things. Fun fact, I tried out for the show Fear Factor years ago. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't get on there, but I did try out. So I am, like I said, I do have an adventurous spirit. I went to Dollar Tree while I was down there, and their Dollar Tree down there had so many things. And I am a Dollar Tree fanatic anyway. I know they raise their price, a lot of people are upset by it, but you know what? All the other stores have done it for years, they just don't advertise that they've done it. You know, and Dollar Tree kept their same prices for a long time. So, really, you know, I can't, I don't want to hate on them, you know? Some things, yeah, maybe they're not not worth it anymore. But for the most part, Dollar Tree's still a good buy. If you need, you know, if you want to get something inexpensive just to play around with. Oh, how cute are these little bottle brush trees? Little bitty miniature bottle brush trees. Aren't those cute? Oh my gosh. Those are adorable. Adorable. Let's see, I think three of them is probably going to be plenty. We might only use two. We'll see how how much room we have here after we put our little guy on. I'm trying to figure out where he's going to go. He's going to go right here. 
and that little strand right there. I don't know, I don't know if we even need a spring down here. We might just do him in some trees. Of course, we don't want him hitting the trees, so we're going to move him over a little bit here. We're going to see. I actually... I don't want to see if I can get this tree off of here, which I can. Alright, perfect. So, we're going to take him off. And we're going to go right here in the tin pool. Get the little tree. All right, look at there. That's even better yet. Okay, this is even better yet. Little trees come out, guys. So if you want to stick them in something, like I'm doing them here. Okay, we want that one there. Put him there. Let's see what we're doing here. So I'm going to put him there. And I think I'm going to put one more behind him here. Those trees are really cute. Alright. So I haven't glued him down yet. I am going to put a little bit of glue in the tree, so when we turn the slug bulb upside down and we go to shake it, we don't have to worry about it coming out. But I'm kind of getting a rough placement of them. And then, once my foil's completely dry and my little man's dry and my trees and everything, we're going to come back in and we're going to add some fake snow around it. First, we're going to glue it to it. And then I'm going to put fake snow and glitter in the snow globe. And we will put it all together then. So for now, I'm going to get the glue right quick. We're going to glue in the mountains. I mean, glue in the trees. And then we are going to glue our little guy on here. I don't know. You think we ought to put this one or this one? I don't know. I like this one because he's leaned up. So when I place him in, <coughs> he's not looking down. I kind of like that way. Okay, so we're going to put these little trees first here. So E6000 to the rescue. Love this blue. Love it, love it, love it. Alright. We're going to stick that in there like this. I'm going to give a shout out to my grandson today. His name is Cody. Today's his birthday. He lives with me. He watches his, better watch this video. <laughs> He usually does. He watches my videos. Funny enough, not all the way through, though. Sometimes I have to not to go to. Come on. you got to watch Grandma's video all the way through. I know he's not a crafter, so... It's not something that... Is really of interest to him. He likes seeing the finished product, but... I think the whole process is... <laughs> too much. We're going to put a little bit of glue on this. I'm actually going to take some sandpaper and I'm going to wrap the bottom up just a little. Give the glue something because it's pretty slick on the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off here. Okay. 
put the glue on here. A pretty generous amount because I'm going to stick to this foil, and this foil is not really super flat. Alright, so this is what we've got so far. We're going to let this dry, and uh, like I said, we're going to come back in, put some fake snow in here, and put our little people, our little guy here in a snow globe. Super, super cute, guys. This is so cute. So if you see one of these at Dollar Tree, pick it up. Uh, there's so many things you can put in here. So many things you could do with this. Uh, they have another little set of people. Like I said, I, there's another one here I may do. I'll grab that and put that for you. It is. I guess it's a guy carrying some wood. And. Looks like someone. Look at what this guy's doing. Looks like he's just standing there maybe. This one here. And then they got a little wagon with the wood on it. Uh, so I might kind of do some kind of little Christmas scene kind of a little diorama type scene might do something with these and maybe use the rest of these as well because i don't want to waste them and might figure out a good use never never get rid of anything that i you can reuse for something later never know there may be something that those little wooden blocks i'm gonna go oh i needed those <laughs> all right guys um uh, we're gonna let this dry overnight and i will come back tomorrow and we will finish our snow globe. Bye. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so we're going to finish this snow globe here. Um, so I did come in off camera, and I took a little bit of Mod Podge, and I took a little bit of the fake snow, and I attached it to the top of this just to let it dry because I didn't want this video to be like an hour and a half long so I was gonna do baby oil but baby oil is so messy I kind of feel like I want to do water so now is when I fill this with water you got to remember not to put too much water in because you want to be able to have room when you put this in of course it's gonna raise your water level so and then you want to have a little bit of room so when you shake it things move around Put some fake snow in here already. So let's see how we got here. Okay, I can put more in. I can put quite a bit more in actually. Before I seal this, I kind of want to see what I have. I think I could still use a little bit more water. I don't have any more out here. And I don't want to set this like this. There we go. We'll do this. Put this up there. Okay, perfect. Alright guys, I'm going to put you on pause. i got to go grab some more water. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. You want to add a little bit more to it still? to know exactly how much to put in. Alright, we're going to try this. It might overflow, so I'm not going to put too much. Alright. Might actually work. Okay, so they recommend gluing this, but before I glue it, I want to make sure I don't need to take it apart and add more water or do something different to it. So I'm going to do this, 
And I'm going to put the base on really good and tight. And we're going to give it a quick shake. We're not going to do a whole lot to it until we know. So let's shake up our fake snow here really, really good. Okay, so my fake snow from Dollar Tree is settling at the top instead of the bottom. Can you see it, guys? I've got like this blob of snow at the top. I think I just need to maybe get it shook up really, really good. Let's shake it up really, really good. Maybe after it weights itself down. Can you see it though, guys? Can you see the little guy here? Here. Can't see him. It looks like I got too much in here. This is why I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that because I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it up, and my snow will all come up to the top. And I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to scoop some of it out. And I'm going to replace it with glitter. Because the glitter will move around a lot easier. So guys, just so you know, this fake snow at Dollar Tree is very pretty. But it, sparingly. I have it put way too much apparently. Alright, so let's pry this open very gently. I'm going to get me a paper towel because it's probably going to be messy. Gonna have snow all over it. All right. So let's pull this out like so. Not too bad. There's a little bit of fake snow in it. All right. So for these little bitty spoons here. I think I'm going to get another paper towel because I really don't want to waste this snow. I think I'm just going to scoop it out on it and let it dry. And then try to reuse it. I mean, it's not like I used a whole ton of it, but I used enough of it. I don't want to waste it. Yeah, I went a little crazy with the snow, guys. The only snow I really see, because I am in Florida. By choice. <laughs> By choice. Let's see. Yeah, the snow is just. Apparently, it's like. clumps up together in here. So we're going to remove almost all of this. We're going to leave just a tiny bit in here. Grab some, some lighter, finer glitter. Might do a silver and I don't know what do you think, silver and blue maybe. A winter icicle. Okay, let's see. I've got a, a kind of a silvery color. Maybe that might be pretty in there. A little bit of that in. This is a lot finer glitter, so it's not going to clump up like this. I wish I could get a bit more of this out. I think it'll be alright, though. So what I'm just going to dip this spoon in here and get me a little spoonful of this. We're going to stir it around really good. I 
might be enough Twitter. Let's try it now. Let's see what we got. Just push it down really, really tight till it seals all the way down. So this is flush. And then you take the cap and you tighten it really tight. And then you shake the snow glue up. And we see what we got. We still got too much glitter in here at the top. I don't like this glitter floating around at the top. Can you see the little guy? No, you can't see the little guy. I can see the little guy. Alright, too much glitter, guys. We're going to do something different again. So the fake snow is just clumping up completely in here. So, we'll get a cup here. Where did I get my old cup? I got an old cup here on the side. Here it is. And we're just going to dump all that in here. Alright. I'm going to wipe this out. I don't want all this glitter in here now. Alright. Still got more down in there. Okay. So, we're done with that part. <laughs> we're going to redo it here. Alright, I think I'm going to put very, very little of the glitter in. And I'm not doing any of the fake snow. Because I think it's what's too heavy and it's weighing everything down. So, I'm glad I got extra water. I'm going to use a tiny bit of this. Alright, we'll do that. And I'm going to put a cover over this to sift some of this out because I want a little bit of this water. Back in we go. Did I get too much water? We'll see. Okay, we got it sealed good. Oh yeah, much better guys. Now you can see it. Oh, how cute did he turn out? I got my little trees here. My little guy's sledding around. Oh, he turned out so cute. Can you see him? I don't know how well you can see him. I hope you can see him good. I moved my hand here out of the way. See how pretty he is? Let's see how he looks. Let's turn on the light here. So pretty. I'm going to bring it down because he's the way you sit and all you're getting is a bubble on top. Sorry about that, guys. Look at him. Here, let's give him a shake. Isn't he 
cute. Sliding down my little mountain there. Look at my trees. All right, guys. So now we know. When you're doing these, the fakes know that Dollar Tree sells is not really a good option for putting in it. Of course, and again, I was putting that much in it. So that could be the reason why. <laughs> but just so you know, that's the whole scenario. Uh, I'm going to, off camera, I'm just going to take the bottom off and I'm going to seal this with some E6000. So that way it doesn't leak. And I just, I love it. I think I want to get another one and I want to do a different one now. Alright guys, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. It'll really help my channel. And uh, if you came to see my video, I appreciate it. Well, bye for now.